Hi, it's June 3rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here. Um, in some ways, the headline this week is that the screaming headlines eased off after a, uh, a really sharp rally earlier in May this week. Uh, so a little more stability in the muni market. Uh, what kind of trends did you see? Yeah, uh, you know, it was a relatively quiet week given uh, Memorial Day holiday on Monday. Um, so, you know, uh, supply and activity was down a little bit, but we did still continue to see uh, munis outperform, um, you know, it's a, a, at a little bit of a slower pace um, in on the rally side uh, than we've seen the last two weeks or so. Uh, but uh, since last Friday's close, uh, the MMD curve is lower by about six to eight basis points through 10 years and about five basis points lower out long. Uh, that's on the backdrop of uh, U.S. Treasuries continuing to sell off, which uh, is accelerating again this morning after the uh, better than expected non-farm payroll number. Uh, so this morning, um, treasuries are around five basis points or so higher in yield um, as we're recording this. Uh, and that's after selling off another, you know, call it 18, 19 basis points through 10 years uh, and about 11 basis points out long uh, since last Friday. So treasuries have really continued to like higher. We're back to about a 295 on the 10-year treasury on a 311 or so on the 30 year treasury. Um, but with the, all of that going on, munis continued to uh, uh, you know, uh, rally down a little bit. Um, that's been helped by uh, not only June 1 coupon and maturity reinvestment, uh, but we also st uh, saw a snap of the 15 week uh, outflow streak uh, come to an end. So uh, munis saw fresh inflows of about 1.2 billion uh, reported by Lipper. Uh, so that's uh, that's a positive trend. We'll see if that'll continue. Uh, that's no doubt, you know, on the heels of solid performance the last couple of weeks in the uh, in the sector. Uh, so we saw finally saw some money come into funds uh, for the first time in about 15 weeks. Um, but uh, supply wise, uh, you know, relatively quiet given the holiday. We had a little over six and a half billion priced. Um, BAM was active uh, with about 160 million in the market. That was headlined by a $60 million transaction, which was split between tax exempt and taxable uh, for New Britain, Connecticut. That deal was priced by Mesero this week. Um, and then uh, next week, uh, you know, we'll, we'll start to see uh, supply tick up a little bit. Right now, the headline number is a little over 7 billion, but that I think could potentially grow. Uh, we're seeing visible supply north of uh, about 12 to 13 billion or so. Uh, and with the rally that we've seen, maybe we start to see some refunding candidates that have been on day to day come back into the market. So we'll see how much uh, how much the market can really digest. Uh, but again, with a headline over 7.1 billion, BAM expects to be pretty active. Um, you know, in line with the uh, refundings coming back, we're expected to get used on a, a 56 million dollar refunding deal for Mesa, Arizona, which is going to be priced by Piper Sandler. Uh, some other deals that we'll have in the market include uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which is 35 million being priced by Jenny Montgomery, uh, and 34 million Ridley School District in Pennsylvania, which is expected to be priced by RBC. Great, thanks for uh, for those insights. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we saw the final data for May come out uh, from the bond buyer earlier this week, showing uh, insured penetration for the month of May was 11%. So certainly, a uh, continuing volatility in the market is driving up demand for insured bonds overall in the. In the uh, new issue market. So we'll continue to see how that uh, trend plays out. Thanks for your time uh, this week, Brian, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.